I blew my nose so hard earlier. I feel like I broke it. Ah, oh, okay. Hi friends, my name's Hannah, this is Herda from Hannah, and today I want to share one quick little tip that you might not be using, that you might could use. <laughs> Did that? Anyway, the topic of today's video was actually a video request from a fellow YNAB user, Karen. Hey, Karen. She wanted to know if there was a way to attach your receipts or important documents to your budget. And there's not a perfect way, but there is a way. Our budgets are just a wealth of information. They track all of our purchases. It's how we save up for new things. And when we do buy something, we get a receipt and it often holds important information that we might want later. They can tell us our order number, who checked us out or filled our order, when we can return the item by for a full refund and information on warranties, stuff like that. So for orders or purchases that are big and lofty or just important and we don't wanna lose track of, these are the receipts and invoices that we are are going to hook up to our budget. I, now, I'll be honest, this is not a perfect system by any means, and I would mostly recommend it for big or important purchases where you know you're gonna need to refer to that information again later. Like, don't do this for your groceries or your gas. That's a lot of work. So step one, we need to get our receipts or our invoices digital. Now that's really easy if you bought something online and you can just download an invoice. It's a little more complicated if you bought something at a store and you have a physical receipt. In that case, you'll wanna scan that physical receipt and load it onto a file storing system like Google Drive or Cloud App, Dropbox, so. That's the first step. And the second step, there are actually two ways you can do this. So second step, part A. If the thing that you purchase and you're wanting to track your receipts or invoices for had its own category originally, all you're gonna do is head over to your YNAB budget and find that category in your budget. So let's say I just bought a new laptop. I'm gonna find my laptop category and I'm gonna scroll down to my notes section. All I'm gonna do is paste my link right here in the notes. So now if I decide I don't like the laptop, I'm gonna return it, or I need some information about the warranty, I'll just head to my laptop category, go to the notes, bada bing, bada boom, there we go. Now, like in my case, I bought the laptop, and I do I need the laptop category in my budget anymore? Not, not really, I'm not saving for it, I already bought it, so. I have two options here. If I want to just hide my laptop category, all I do is right click, click hide, and now if we go to the bottom of our budget, it is in our hidden categories category group. And if I wanna bring it back to life, all I have to do is click laptop, there it pops up in my goals again, click the category, I go back down to my notes, there she is. Now I can click the link, get whatever information I need. I can hide the category again, or I can leave it in the budget. Second way we can handle this if we don't want that old laptop category front and center in our budget is we can create a new category group at the top. Name it something like special docs, I don't know. And now I'm gonna control command up to collapse all my categories. I'm gonna open this goals category group again and I'm gonna drag my laptop goal into my special docs category group. I'm also gonna move special docs to the bottom because I don't wanna see special docs every day. I can re-expand by hitting control command down and now we can see that our special docs category is at the bottom. I can collapse it again so it's even less in the way. Okay, so that's what you do if you had a category for that purchase. So that was step two, part A. Step two, part B is going to be what you will do if you did not have a specific category dedicated to that purchase. So let's say I was not forward thinking on the laptop, spill my orange juice on my laptop, and out of the blue, I need to go buy a new one. First of all, bummer, right? But I did have a tech category where I buy future gadgets from. This isn't my real budget, by the way. I don't buy gadgets. What's a gadget? I don't know. So let's say I went to Best Buy, I don't know, and I bought a laptop from there. I'm gonna add a transaction, Best Buy. I'm gonna categorize it to my tech category and mark the outflow, you know, however much it costs. Can you even get a laptop for that much these days? I don't know. So now we have this glorious memo line where we can put in whatever information we want. And usually I'd put in something like, spilled OJ bought a laptop, and maybe I still do that. But this is also where I'm going to put my special link to my invoice or my receipt. So let's say I scan in my receipt to Google Drive and I take that Google Drive link and I'm gonna paste it right here. Googie Drive. 
youtube.com slash whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna head back to my budget, scroll down to my tech category. Thank goodness I had that, am I right? When I click activity, I can click on my laptop transaction, go back to the memo line, and what do you know? Boogie Drive. I can copy that bad boy, paste it in a browser. It's not gonna work, because that's not a real website, but if you used a real link, it would work. That I do know. And that's actually all there is to it. Like I said, not a perfect system. It is totally a workaround, but it works around. It sure does. Curious to know if any of you guys have ever used this technique. I know I sure have. And it's saved me a time or two. Because everything comes with a protection plan or a warranty these days. But like, I don't have a protection plan drawer in my kitchen. So why not just put it in the budget? Like I said, simple tip, that's all I got. But uh, while we're here, let's do a YNAB win. This YNAB win comes from Eleanor W. And she says, I have a wedding category group for all the weddings and hendos. Hendos? Hindus? <laughs> I don't know. I have this year. Kind of crazy how much money has had to go into them, but man, I'm glad I've got YNAB to plan for them now, as they would have definitely caught me off guard before. One of the best parts about YNAB is that you can craft it and tweak it to be whatever you need it to be. Let me look at my budget, see what weird categories we have. Disc golf. We started a category for our dog's dental exam, which is not supposed to happen for another two years. We have a category right now for a fence. I plan to only build one or two fences in my life, so this category is not usually gonna be in there, but right now it is. We, we need it. So be like Eleanor, use your categories in your budget however you need to. Make it fit your life. And if you watch this video and you have no idea what software I'm using, this is the app you need to budget. We also have a mobile app and you can use it right on your computer, which is the way I like to use it. And good news for you, you can try YNAB completely free, no credit card info required for 34 days and see if you like budgeting the YNAB way. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you made it to the end, go ahead and comment a flip-flop emoji. I hate flip-flops. Thanks for watching y'all. Have a good day and happy budgeting. All right. All right. All right, we're filming. This is exciting. This is like old school Heard It From Hannah lighting. I kind of like it. A little bit dramatic, a little bit cinematic, a little bit shadowy. We would be quite lost. Oh, my dummy, did you hear that? Okay.